In Massachusetts, two Senate candidates facing off in their second heated debate last night. Senator Elizabeth Warren and Republican Jeff Deal went head to head on many issues from gun laws to jobs. WBZ's Michelle Fisher has more. This contest is one of the year's most high profile political races. And when the candidates faced off for a second debate Sunday night in front of a Springfield audience, they didn't hold back. It's obvious with Senator Warren that she doesn't even want this position as senator. She wants to be president. Deal wants Warren's Senate seat, but both candidates at times seemed preoccupied with the Oval Office. That he has defended Donald Trump's ugly rants and that he has embraced his dangerous policies. For an hour, the two volleyed questions from a moderator. Topics included the federal response to hurricanes in Puerto Rico, government restrictions on marijuana, and gun laws. With Smith & Wesson headquarters in Springfield, each weighed in on how to protect manufacturing jobs there while keeping people safe from gun violence. When my opponent talks about national reciprocity, what he's talking about is let Texas make the rules for who's going to be able to carry a gun here in Massachusetts. Senator Warren returns to the Senate, yeah, Texas will be making the rules, but if I go down to the Senate, I'll have a seat at the table because of my relationship with the administration. Both candidates also weighed in on Senator Warren Warren's claims to Native American ancestry and a recent DNA test. Ultimately, I took a DNA test because I am an open book and it's all out there. It's on the internet. Anybody can take a look. It's not about Senator Warren's ancestry. It's about integrity in my mind. And I don't care whether you think you benefited or not from that claim. It's the fact that you tried to benefit from that claim. One topic they did agree on, the legalization of marijuana. Both candidates say they support the right of states to legalize it. Warren and Deal will face off for another debate on October the 30th. In the studio, Michelle Fisher, WBZ News.